Today on Dad Hut, I'm going to show you how to make this cheap and easy DIY American flag. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel with 4th of July just around the corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY wooden American flag. It's something cheap and easy to do and the whole family can get involved. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. Five pieces of fencing or wooden slats, a drill or screwdriver with a handful of nails, a handsaw or circular saw, red, white, and blue craft paint, and a couple of paint brushes, and that's it. Okay, so take your wooden slats and measure them and cut them exactly in half. Since mine are six feet long, I'm gonna cut all mine down to three feet in length. So grab your saw and cut right along the line that you made to cut each board equally in half. Since I like the design of the top of the fence, I'm just going to trace two of my flat edge boards to match the other ones so I can have seven total boards with that little triangle design at the end. Totally optional, but I think it adds a little something to the flag at the end. When you're all done with your cutting, you should have seven boards that have that top of the fence design and three boards that are just straight edged. All of these boards should be three feet in length if you're starting with six foot long slats. Now it's time to start working on that upper left blue square of the flag. I measured about 14 inches on mine over. That's slightly over one third of the entire length of the board. Totally up to you what you wanna do. Just for reference, that's what I did and then I finish it off with some painter tape. If you don't have painter's tape, that's fine. Use newspaper, cardboard, anything to create an edge. And now I'm all set up and I'm ready to paint. So this is the part where you can get the kids involved, get the little ones in there and have them start painting. We decided to keep it simple and just make solid colors for the seven boards. If you really wanted to keep it authentic and do the 13 stripes, you can do that. You're just gonna need to figure out the math and know exactly how wide you need to make each stripe. And when you're done with the first round of painting, you should have something that looks similar to this. And once the paint has dried, move your tape to the other side and start painting our blue square. When that's all done, you should have something that looks similar to this. Okay, so remember those three boards from the beginning that were flat? Let's grab two of them and just lay them on the ground and let's start assembling our flag on top of them. Okay, so carefully take your screws and start screwing in two screws on each of the seven boards lined up with those two boards that will be behind the flag. Okay, then flip the whole thing over and take our very last board that we have left and let's run it across so this way we can hang this flag if we want to. If you don't wanna hang the flag and you're just gonna lay it on the ground or stand it up, then you don't need to do this part, but it's good to have. And now it's time to put the stars on. We created a stencil out of a cereal box just to make it a little easier for us to get the stars on there. And we did a little bit of freehand as well. If you're really good at freehand, then you probably won't need the stencil, but if not, Make yourself a quick little stencil out of a small piece of cardboard or something and figure out how you want the stars. Put them any way you want them. If you want to do all 50, you want to do half, or you want to make any design you want, it's totally up to you. And the very last step is to take some touch-up paint and paint the tops of those screw heads. So this way they blend in with the rest of the flag. And that's it. You're finished. Your DIY wooden American flag is done. Cheap easy, simple to do. I hope you guys like this episode. Please hit that like button and subscribe for all future Dad Hut videos. I'll see you on the next one.